episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Uh, as always, guys, you can find, I don't know why I get more and more ridiculous every time uh, we say that, but whatever. You can find our social media links <laughs> down below, around. You're, you've been here a while. You know how this works. Go, yes. to the, go to the places that you want to go to. There's also a donation link down oh, there. Oh, yeah, there's uh, that. That's new. If you ish. would like to. Yeah, it's new ish. If you would like to, please don't feel pressured, but it is there for you in case you feel like directly supporting us in a monetary way. Uh, again, please yeah. don't feel pressured. We would be humbled, beyond grateful. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Absolutely. Uh, those of you who have donated, the things should be with you by now? Why? I would hope. I hope so. I hope so. I think they would be. Um, yes, we do have a patron. Um, oh, that's right. Has, we have patrons. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, also, I guess that's there if you want to donate right. via Patreon. I thought that that was what you're talking about. Nope, we got two ways to donate. Oh, man. We're just... We're <laughs> making... giving you all the options <laughs> to give us your money. All right. Well, not yet. We don't have a product <laughs> for sale. No, no, no. Except for a cute face. It's a service that we provide to do this stupid show that... We do Dang. stupid things on. <laughs> That's all it is. Uh, hey, every show's stupid if you think about it. But not too hard. All right, so here's the plan today, guys. We, of course, are going to start off with our random cover of the day. We're going to talk about our stream that we did this past weekend. It was loads of fun. Uh, featuring Blood Braid Elf and Jace the Mind Sculptor. In addition, we're going to very quickly go over GP Toronto. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about what new decks we're expecting to see in Modern now that People are brewing a little bit more with Jace and with Blood Braid. We've got a few decks that we just want to mention and maybe talk a little bit more in depth about. We, of course, have our question of the week and then our crack packs. So, let's kick it off, Will. Are you ready to do this? Absolutely. Man, man, Random me up. Man, what you doing? Random okay. card in three, two, one. Wall of Stone. All right. <laughs> this is a 0-8 okay. summon wall for one and two red, originally printed in Alpha. And it's only $10 if you buy it from Alpha, which I think states a lot. Uh, other than that, it's 20 cents. So yeah. yeah <laughs> it's um, vanilla. There is no, like, yeah. there's nothing else to go off of. The earth herself lends her strength to those walls. Blah, blah, blah. That's the only text in the card. Yeah, it's just a zero weight. Uh, walls, Kevin, how do you feel about walls? I don't like walls. Okay. However, I will say, in some limited decks, there are times where they make sense. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you. The most fun I had drafting uh, Iconic Masters. Masters was when I made a wall shell. Yeah. Did we stream that? I think we did. We may have. If we, I did, think we did, check it out. And if we didn't, I'm about to tell you about it. <laughs> I made a wall shell, a defender shell, where I just had a bunch of vegetables <laughs> and a giant, the, like, the fumarole that throws things. Like you, the you, vent sentinel. That's it. Thank you. Uh, it does damage based on walls, and I milled them for walls. Kevin, I milled Kevin for walls. Yeah, you had the homunculus, too. Yeah, I just made a bunch of... I had wall of roots. <coughs> wall of other stuff. Overgrown, this, whatever. Yeah. The wall that makes mana. Like, you had everything. Yeah, the walls of drawing cards. I had all kinds of defenders that were walls. Yep. Couldn't attack. Didn't matter. They blocked for days, and they flung stuff at Kevin. And that's yeah. all that I wanted. Here's uh, the thing that I don't like about this card, though. Oh, there's plenty I, not to like. <laughs> no, there's nothing to like. But the thing ah! about it is, uh, it's very strong on the toughness end. Uh, oh, yeah. It's got eight toughness for only three mana, which mm -hmm. means it will block for days. Yeah. But red, at least in the alpha stages of magic, I don't mm -hmm. feel like was the blocking type. No. I don't know that this is a card that you'd want in a red deck. <laughs> like, no. It just doesn't... Like, you, this could have easily been a white card. <laughs> yeah. That would make so much more sense And you could even still name it Wall of Stone. Yeah, 100%. Right. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't like this one in no. particular. Honestly, this in the Iconic Masters draft, it made sense. This does not. This would have made sense in that draft, but... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um, honestly, in Limited, it's probably okay as, like, a... Man, it's this or the Force that's in the back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's this or, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, something off-color. If you're in a red... Grizzly bear. For Limited, like... This is fine. I mean, it's filler. Right. I think. Totally filler. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, it's fine. I like defenders. What's the best defender, Kevin? I know the answer to this question. <coughs> Do you? I don't Heck know. Heck yeah. Nivix Cyclops. Ooh, I didn't think about that. There's but an yeah. entire popper deck around Oh, there. you're totally right. Forget mine, yeah. What was yours? Uh, Fogbank. 
Oh, dude, no, that's definitely not. Fog Bank takes no damage. No, I know it's great, but I'm just saying it's not the best. Dude, I don't know. Wall of Ice is pretty good though. Wall of Ice is fine. Wall of Ice is awesome. It's zero seven. Yeah, for three. And then it's Frost Breath if you attack it. Yeah, it's sweet. So it just holds off attackers yeah. really well. Yeah, I draft that mm-hmm. anytime I see it. Okay, that's fair. Wall of Ice is dope. Draft I Wall do of like Ice, you'll win more games. A lot. Per I used two. to run it in my mill deck against um, Tyler. Because I know. He's the only one that played you with that mill deck. Yeah. Well, just because he had a big stompy deck, and like his one of his bigger things was Primeval Titan, and it just stopped Primeval Titan. So I was well, like, yeah. well, there you go. Perfect. He just needed a pump spell, man. That's all he needed. I think he had like one of Mutagenic Growth. Nah, dude, you need like eight. <laughs> we also had Gold Tree and stuff uh, like yeah, that. Though, I forgot. So. Right. Anywho, yeah, we're all, we're rambling at this point. Anywho, Wall of Stone, not great, but it's cute. Yeah, it's, it's cute. Fine. It's cute. Uh, let's move on to our stream. Uh, so if you guys did check out the stream this past weekend, uh, it was actually a lot of fun. We had a couple mm. people hang out with us. Yep. Um, we played two decks. Uh, one was Jund with Bloodbraid Elf, right, and one was Jeskai Control with Jace. Um, and we played best two out of three, and then switched decks. So yep. I start off with the Jeskai deck, and you start off with Jund, and then we yep. switched. Uh, which one won it overall? Was it Jund? Um. Uh, no, it would have been American Control technically. Would it? It won more games. Yeah, it won yeah. three games. John won two. I got annihilated the entire night. I won one game. Ah, it was pretty bad. I don't remember. Um, I but there. it was a lot of fun, and the games went yeah. fairly long. They were fairly grindy. Oh. Um, there was one in particular that I, the first the f- of the sw- when we switched that one was. So I just grindy. couldn't land a, a win. Yeah. Um, but eventually we got there. It was a lot of fun. Um, thoughts though. Thoughts? Um, my thoughts. I was telling Parks this today. My thoughts have relatively remained unchanged. Yeah. Uh, in terms of Jace versus Bloodbraid, where I think they land, mm-hmm. I think Jace is fine to unbanned. I've thought it for a while. Um, <clears throat> that at turn four, he's just not doing enough. Yeah. My whole thought process was, I'm going to see Jace. Let me have an answer for Jace, and yeah. I always did, <clears throat> and so it was fine. Um, around turn four, I'd always leave up a red mana if I was Jund. Yeah. So I could say, there's Jace. Oh no, he's trying to do a thing. Bolt. Yeah. And he's gone. Yeah. It's fine. Um, Bloodbraid is... A little bit scarier. Predominantly. He's so much harder to deal with. Even though... I don't know about, uh, I don't know about harder, but... He's harder in terms of what your opponent gets. Yeah. Because you'd have to... He's always a, a two for one. Yeah, always. Right? Always. Um, uh, so, like... Is he scarier? Not really, not, not in the term. long term, but like you resolve if I resolve a blood braid, well, if I cast a blood braid, something is happening whether you have an answer or not. Yeah. Right? And if you just have one answer, then only like I still get a free thing. Sweet. Yeah. Like J- Jace, you can beat that turn four, but you have to. You that, have to yeah, beat him all. And that's exactly what I was gonna say is every single time Jace hit the board. It was answered immediately, which in that's some respects... That's how you have to play it. That's how you have to play it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that does speak to the power level of Jace sure. in the long term, because he will eventually win you the game. I don't think anyone should say that Bloodbraid is a better card than Jace. I don't no. think it's true, and that's why Jace is answered every yeah, time yeah. he's answered. However, he's answered. Yeah, he's answered. Um, it, it is fairly easy to answer Jace. Like you said, Bolt does it, and Bolt yep. is one of the most prominent cards. So, the most. Um, is it right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the top one. So, yeah, it, it makes sense that Jace, again, more powerful probably in the long term, but yeah. easy, to, easy to deal with immediately in the metagame yeah. right now. Um, Bloodbraid, as you mentioned, is always a two-for-one, which feels mm-hmm. really bad. I will say playing against Bloodbraid, um, I was always kind of like thinking, okay, turn four, there's going to be a Bloodbraid elf most mm-hmm. likely, so I need to leave up something, at least one counter, just to yeah. deal with either the Bloodbraid or the card that's being cast with it. Yeah. Um, Remand was terrible, by the way, against Bloodbraid. Uh, yeah, don't, don't use Remand against Bloodbraid. Don't Remand Bloodbraid, just don't. Why? Um, <laughs> Why would you ever think that's okay? No, it's not. I'm just saying there were instances <laughs> where I had Remand in my hand, and I was like, well, this sucks. Like, <laughs> I can't Remand it, you know? Right. Um, so that was kind of felt bad, a weird interaction there. It might yeah. be that with Bloodbraid coming up, we might see Remand take a small hit. Um, uh, it should take a big hit. It should, honestly. I Let think. me just say. Um, unless you're in like a combo deck. I guess you could remand the card that it cascades, like, but yeah, then they but, just draw it. Yeah. Which, fun. but I mean, off of a Bloodbraid, that kind of isn't that bad. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. I if guess. it's a lily, sweet. I will say, though, Electrolyze was amazing against Heck yeah. Blood Braid. Heck yeah. Um, again, it's a 3 2, so 2 <laughs> damage with Electrolyze takes care of it, and Perfect. you draw a card. So yep. that was actually really handy. I know recently Electrolyze has kind of taken a small hit. Well, I mean, that makes sense, um, right? But I th yeah, it definitely does. There's not much that it hits right now. Exactly. Um, exactly. I think now there is, so we might see that. Hit. Yeah, I think Reman is a perfect trade for Blood Bright Elf, because then they just get a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever that was, it could have been a Thoughtseize, it could have been a. Yep. Um, I mean, you know, you know the game. It's worth noting, though, uh, if they cascade into like a thought seize or something like that mm -hmm. or an inquisition uh you cannot electrolyze the blood braid right depending on how they stack the triggers right because um, it but, has not resolved yet yeah that's kind of important cascade happens on cast not mm -hmm. resolution exactly if that was the case then blood braid wouldn't even have ever been a problem yeah it wouldn't be that because you just counter blood braid and everything's exactly. fine but um, that is not how magic works yes so very fun games thank you to those who actually mm -hmm. came out and hung out with us for a little bit um Excuse me. If you do want to see it, uh, it is on our YouTube right now. You can go check it out. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on to Toronto. <laughs> All right. GP Toronto happened, everybody, and it was uh, exciting. Kind it of. was interesting. Here's the thing. Um, <laughs> none of it matters. None yeah. of this matters. None of the next modern tournament matters. Up until this will go live the 20th? The 21st. I forget. I forget. Days I are thought hot. it was like today. Well, the no. day of recording this, uh, which is Monday. Hold up, it's the twenty first today, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. It's the nineteenth. Man, I don't know. Man. I can't get to my. Oh, okay. Then the next modern tournament, everything will be more relevant. Yeah. Um, but regardless, what I'm trying to say is Toronto <laughs> and Lyon together don't matter because Blood Braid and Jace weren't legal yet. Yeah. So you, they couldn't have been played. They wouldn't have warped the format yet. But they're going to now. <laughs> so, none of it matters to me. I'll say that again. Um, but a real fun fact, fun for parks in general, um, Boggles won Toronto. It did. Which Hex I think is great. Boggles. I think, Hex proof Boggles. Okay. We've talked before about how Modern is in a really healthy place right now. Yes, we have. And, and this uh, just goes to prove that. Thank you, Boggles. Goodbye. Thank you, Lantern, the last, the last GP for taking it. Yeah, goodbye, Lantern. That's not gonna happen. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I don't know, really. Lantern no more than that. I don't think Lantern is gonna be very good. But they get Jace now. They can use Jace. Yeah, but Jace kind of wrecks them too. I mean, yes. So I mean, yes, but they have to get to. You can lock out the game before they resolve a Jace. Mm. And if they have a Jace, then that's just sweet. I'm just saying, I think Lantern gets a lot worse. <laughs> oh no, it definitely does. Like, it definitely does. I don't think we'll see as much of Lantern by a long way. <laughs> uh, I mean, some people, uh, I say some, 98% of people are 99. probably like super excited about 99. that. I'm a little sad. I like Lantern. But you anyway. Are one of a very few. Yeah. Scant few. It's going to be interesting, though, with the unbannings to see how healthy modern remains. Right. That's why these don't matter. Um, <laughs> because a Boggles deck won't win anymore. <laughs> um, it just... It, what do you mean? It just won't. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I guess Jace doesn't it really touch doesn't it. really doesn't hit Boggles, though, that badly. Yeah. I mean, Blood Braid... You could get into... So, for instance, if they, like, remove your first Boggle or Glade Cover Scout or whatever, mm -hmm. and then just start fate sealing you... Yeah. that wrecks you because there's not that many creatures in that deck yeah. and so if they just fate seal all of your creatures mm -hmm. away you're done like, there's also not that much draw so exactly there's you're not like gonna horizon find canopy things. i think yeah that's true but i don't so, um yeah, gets a little worse yep that's true anywho <laughs> um but burn was the second deck and obviously if a boggles deck has a ley line burn is terrible against it yeah. and so burn lost to, to boggles duh good metagame call to put ley lines in your mm -hmm. main board by the way i don't remember who was playing the boggle suck uh dan ward <laughs> yeah dan ward uh yeah good call yes that was sweet i have always held that ley lines go in boggles main board because I mean, yeah that makes sense i 100 percent all the time because you're only doing one like boggles isn't sneaky it, it's not no, like everybody knows you're, you're not going to get a cute play out of boggles it's going to be i have a hexproof giant swamp <laughs> monster stop it if you can if you can i lose yeah and that's been it so if you can't sack it yeah there you go 
And there are plenty of decks that don't have sweepers, even though there are plenty of sweepers around Modern. Supreme mm -hmm. Verdict is still primo up there. Uh, but be that, <laughs> as, be that as it may, <coughs> just put Leyline in main board. Parks, yeah. that's mainly for you specifically. <laughs> um, so yeah, it played against Burn, uh, and this was, um, help me, White Red. Naya Burn. Boros. Boros Burn. Naya. That's a Boros Burn. Naya's three. Yeah, it's, it's uh... Got green in it. Yep, you're right. This was, uh, Boros Burn. Um, because Lightning Helix is sweet in Burn. There's and Boros Charm. Well, right. Boros Charm's nice. Uh, Skullcrack, etc. But it's Mono Red. Whatever. Look. None of... I'm telling you, none of it matters. <laughs> I, what other decks really quick were in this? Sure, topic? sure. So Instant Reanimator came in three. That's cool. Uh, Just got control in four. Expect that to get bumped up. Um, so affinity cool. surprise. Another burn. Elves tribal, which is cool. Oh yeah, yeah. right. I heard about that. That's and then uh, traverse shadow. Okay, so not a huge surprise. Um, Except for elves. Elves is pretty sweet. I'm happy to see that up there. Yeah, because elves feel uh, elves to me feels like it just loses to a bunch of stuff nowadays. Because even yeah. with uh, Coco, it's still. <laughs> It's more consistent, but it's still mm -hmm. not as scary. It just floods, gets you know what elves does. Oh, great to elf is an elf though. Red elves green elves just got a boost, maybe. Red green elves is that a thing now? I would do it. Oh, this sweet. This ran the uh, vizier combo as well. Oh, did it? Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Yep, this I was like elves with vizier combo. Good for them. Yeah, that's sweet. How do you feel? We'll talk about it modern a little bit. How do you feel about a court of calling banning? No, it's too expensive. You think? Yeah. Just an instant fetch? Yeah. I mean, they banned Green Sun Zenith because it was way too good. Right. But I think the extra mana on Cord makes mm -hmm. it okay. I'm fine with it. Isn't there two extra on Cord? Yeah. It's three. Minutes, right? It's three. I was just meant extra in general. Gotcha. Like, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I think Cord is fine. Um, hmm. It also, I mean, the things most of the time worth fetching for with Cord are like starting at three usually. So that's a seven mana thing. Yeah, I mean that, that's a lot. Yeah, like and for I mean for a ramp deck, it's you're gonna get there quicker. That's fine, but like <clears> you still then have to take turns off just to ramp into it. Definitely. So it's like, meh, is it that good? I mean, we saw a Kiki Cord. That's been a deck in the past, and that's fine. But obviously, it didn't take over modern. <laughs> like, well, no, it's not no, that no, 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 good. No. I a friend and I were talking today about bannings. What should be banned instead of unbanned? I don't think there's anything that needs. To I don't be either. And that's what I said. I don't really think you banned. No. Like, he thought you should ban Cord. I don't think so. Disagree. Yeah. Respectfully disagree. Disrespectfully disagree. That too. What? Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when <laughs> we do stupid things. Yeah, and I had, like, I did leave my notebook uh, at home. However, I had, like, some mental things to talk yeah, about yeah. for these things, and none of it matters. That's sad. None of it. it yes, but also no. Yeah. No, I'm on the precipice of being very excited again about modern. Um, I was worried for days. I think now we're okay. I think so. Right. After playing with Blood Braid, I don't feel like it's as strong as I gave it credit for. I still think it's worse for modern. Yeah. Um, but it's not as scary uh, to me anymore. And Jace never has been. Suck it, all you Jace lovers. Uh, Jace is scary unanswered. Other than that, he's yeah, easy to just answer. Always answer Jace, and then you're good. You're in the clear. It's worth noting, though, a Jun deck has a fairly easy time of answering Jace. That's uh, fair. Um, so there may be. I mean, think of like Boggles. I mean, how's Boggles? Oh, Boggles doesn't answer? answer anything, though. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, and that's what I'm saying, though, is like against a Jace. But like, Boggles, could be kind of bad. No, Boggles doesn't care about Jace. We just we just talked about that. Uh, what does Jace Unless do they start fate sealing, though. I think that could if be you if they've removed the first boggle yes yeah. but i don't know they're fine i mean we'll see how it goes but i'm not afraid of either one either i think it'll be yeah, fine negative. i think you answer the jace you answer either blood braid or the card that was cascaded into yeah because you get to see before you need to cast your thingy so. yeah yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm with that i mean yeah congrats to ward and whoever won leon i forgot yeah i don't remember either um, also, with the, we do want to talk about new decks that we're expecting right. to see now that right. Bloodbraid and Jace are unbanned. And the obvious things are Jund and Jeskai Control, the decks that we played. Right. No surprise there. You just kind of slot those cards in because mm -hmm. they just make your deck better. I think Jund changes up a little bit. 
I think so. You I think be... Fatal Push is not necessarily very good anymore. Um, right. I say not very good. I think in a Blood Braid deck, right. it's not very good because right. you cascade into it, and if you don't have, it's blank. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or it could be blank. Um, so not a fan of that. Um, that being said, what else gets worse though, and or what changes up about Jund? Um, I think they have the option to reduce, like make Blood Braid the top of their curve if they want, like mm. Classic Jund. They could do that if they'd like. Yeah. Um, that's just totally a play style option. Yeah, of um, course. You have to decide whether uh, really fast Jund is still worth playing mm-hmm. over not having an end game necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Because again, Jund is a mid range tempo deck. Yep. Um, whose mid range just comes all about resource management. Right. Right. But it's not got the, like that scary. It's not like a once they've revolved. Revolved. It revolved. Once they've resolved, like Death, de- death Shadow, <laughs> Death Shadow, and Hollow One each say, "I'm doing this thing to get to Hollow One and Death Shadow, and then I'm yeah, on the yeah. attack." Yeah. Jund is always like, "I'm removing your stuff. I'm attacking if I can." Well, it also Here's like Jund is the thing where it's like you can play whatever game you want with Jund. Like, yeah, that's, that's fairly true. If you get that's, a bunch true. of hand destruction spells in your opening hand, cool. You're on hand destruction. Heck you yeah. You are on resource, and it feels so good. Yeah, it does. If you're on the like, uh, if you get a bunch of lightning bolts and like Tarmogoyfs, you are now on the I want to kill you as fast as I can plan. And, and it totally feels fun. so good. That's the great thing about Jund, and it that's why so I think good. we'll see a classic Jund show come back. Because yeah, I think, I think it's the, the idea will be to keep the curve low below that blood braid. I think that will be mm-hmm. the majority of the Jund decks. Um, it just makes the most sense. I think. I believe it's the best way to play given the colors. Yeah. Um, Liliana at three is just way too strong. Oh my gosh. Not to play. Yeah. So being able to cascade and into Lily. I do want to point out too, and we didn't get to see this too much in the games that mm. we did because we answered almost every planeswalker like immediately. But yeah, Liliana, the last hope, not of the veil, True. is very very good with Blood Braid. It's already good. Yeah. But it kills Snapcasters, no surprise there. But it also, when you get your Blood Braid killed, you get to get it back with Liliana. Yeah. And that is amazing. Like Sweet. Very, very good. Uh, super, super good place. So mm-hmm. kind of stoked about that. I think yeah. we'll see a lot of uh, spike in the Last Hope as well. Yeah. I think even as a even as a one of that's fine. Yeah, I think so. Um, you just... could honestly do two Veil to Last Hope. I think Veil's a little bit better. I think Veil's definitely better. Personally. Yeah, because it answers what they're doing more. Exactly. But, exactly. Um, it's I more just like, like the last hope pulling out your game plan like oh, super it's, well. That's awesome. Keeps you consistent. Yeah. It's important. Well, why not both? You can do both now. Yeah, you can. It's true. You can do both. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, there's also a couple of other decks that we did not test that I no. think are interesting. So um, we were talking about this a little before the show. So if there's always if there's already some bias, yeah, that makes sense. Explain that. But let me talk about the other one first. Though. Sure, sure. Uh, go ahead. There's miracles can now be played, mm-hmm. uh, which I think we'll see some play. I don't know how good it is. I think it could be really good, but I'm not sure. We didn't really get a full play test out of it. We made some decks after we streamed, yeah. and it's not... They weren't modern legal. No, they um, were super casual. <laughs> so, do you want to tell them what we made? Just... I mean, I guess. I made a Miracles deck with Jace, um, but I also had stuff like Brainstorm and all that, and right. you made... <laughs> I made Rug Cascade. Four blood braids. Four uh Shardless Agent. Shardless Agent. Maybe. And wait for it for Violent Outburst. Violent Outburst. That's twelve <laughs> cascade triggers. <laughs> Everything with besides those cards costs less than three. Yeah, yeah. Ancestral vision, y'all. Which is amazing. Oh baby, let me just cascade and draw three. Ancestral vision. Uh is a charm. At the worst, the worst, you're just looting two cards, but yeah. so what? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> everything else was like... Uh, burning Tree? Burning Tree Emissary. Free A2 mana. Goblin <laughs> Guide. Monastery Mentor. <laughs> Vexing Devil. So it's just... Uh, it was so Blood terrible. Braid Elf, Cascade into uh, Violent Outburst, Cascade into Burning Tree. Let me just play my Vexing Devil. It felt so bad. What you can do? Yeah, it was Mana so just quick. flies in from nowhere. This is kind of the deck that we were talking about. Yeah, kind of. The only thing is, obviously... Um, Shardless. Thank you. Gotcha. You're on it. 
Uh, Charlotte's <laughs> agent isn't modern legal. Yeah. Um, which it shouldn't be. God. No, my gosh, no. God, if it was modern legal, I would drop everything and play modern today. Yes. <laughs> Just competitively. Just go around. <laughs> I don't care. Your zoo deck is really cute, but I've got my entire creature base out here. You can't do anything. So it's worth noting you can blood braid into shardless into another thing too. Uh, which was yes. really annoying. <gasps> it's so good. The value, man. It's, it's so value. Good. It's value uh, city. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Value City sponsored. Great. Just kidding, it's not. Uh, <laughs> this deck is stupid fun, but this is the Gruel Cascade deck that Kevin made, just yeah, yeah. with just with uh, Charlotte's Age thrown in there. Um, so you can make this at home, kids. It's legal now. Yeah, um, you basically. just you take out Charlotte's Agent and uh, Ancestral Vision and is no, it Ancestral Charm. is legal. Well, yeah, but you don't put in Gruel. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you could, and that would be really sweet. But like, I would. Okay, but because you're not looking to cast it anyway, who cares? If you draw, it's just a bad card. I mean, throw in like a breeding pool or something just to be able to. But like, no, I think if if you don't get Charlotte, totally nah, dude. I think <laughs> forget that. <laughs> uh, don't listen to him. Yeah, sure. Actually, what would you do this every time? Where you're like, don't listen. Wait, <laughs> I'm just trying to think. What else would Blue want? I don't know. We'll talk about it. Um, yeah, the deck is awesome, though. Uh, Rug Cascade, build it casual, play it casual, lose all your friends. It's dope. It's like the opposite of control, but does the same thing. Um, as yeah, far as losing your friends. I was going to say, yeah, you just win on turn three, and then they yeah. sulk about it. Um, this all being said, there is now a modern Rug Cascade deck, uh, which has seen a lot of play on YouTube recently, so I don't know if it's actually going to take off. We were arguing about this a little bit. Um, I think we both kind of landed in the same place that we're on the fence about it, though. Um, You're more towards it's definitely not going to work. I'm hes- I'm very... I don't think it's going to be good. It's interesting. I'm it's skeptical. Got- I mean, I get that. It seems a little disjointed just because it's got a wide variety and that's the of thing. cards. That's the thing. Um, there's birds and noble hierarch, things like that to get you to your cards faster. Of course, Blood Braid Elf is in it. They also, because it's rug, get to play Jace. Um, there's Ancestral Vision, Bolt, of course, Scavenging Use, Tarmogoyf, uh, Vendillion Click, yeah. um, Courser of Crew Fix, like. It just seems interesting to me. I don't know. It feels like a mix-up between Jund and, like, Control. And that's exactly what it is. To me, it is it is asking for its stuff to get bolted. Which, I mean, every bird does. Yeah, I mean, but, you should bolt the bird. Absolutely. You don't let them live. But, like, once things are answered, past turn four, I think this deck gets worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Because all of these are answerable, and easily at that. Like, it's not got some cute trick that Blue can do. Mm-hmm. It's cute trick is with Jace brainstorming stuff that you want Blood Braid to cascade into. Which is a good interaction. That's fine. But I don't know that that's enough to build a deck off. Exactly. Of. Like, is it, though? Because its choices <laughs> no, are... It's rub. I'll kill you. Uh, its choices are <laughs> Ancestral Vision, Lightning Bolt, Dismember. Like, those are the things, Value Town, that you could cascade into. I guess you put a creature back Forcer, here for though. free. Is good to cascade into. I suppose, but what does Courser do in modern nowadays? Like, mm. does it keep you alive that much? Because past turn four, it's not boldable. You're already that's true, but you're already looking at hollow ones. You're already looking at um, death shadows that are yeah. like six sixes at this point. So Courser doesn't really save you, but a turn. Yeah. Um, and you just lose your Courser and your Blood Braid, and I. And I don't uh, know that this deck really has a way to deal main board at least with like. An actual big death shadow. Right. I mean, you've got. It bounces it with Jace. Sure, which is. But that's not really. A it's thing. a one mana creature. So right. Like who cares? Um. I mean, it, Goyf could get big. It does run a one of Dark Dwellers, which is cute. But again, I don't think that's enough. Your Dark Dwellers ancestral for free, which is cool. Draw three cards. Sweet. I draw three cards. Um. You still have no answers to that death shadow. <laughs> exactly, because nothing in here does, except for two bolts, I guess. Unless it's a, unless it's a big. seven seven, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. What but, if you you had two bolts and it was like uh seven seven? It's like oh crap, <laughs> that feels terrible. <laughs> I don't know, um, dude. I just thought of something mm-hmm. that would be really messed up. What? I mean, you wouldn't do this because you would know about it, but like, actually no. Okay, what's the card that deals one 
damage to anything and it's Phyrexian mana. Skullcrack or something? Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, Skullcrack. So what if you have like uh, a 6-6 six, six Death Shadow out? Okay. Uh, and they're like, okay, I'm going to bolt your Death mm-hmm. Shadow. And it's like, clearly they have a second bolt. And you're like, I'm going to Skullcrack myself. See what happens. And then they, because they can't then second bolt it. They just wasted a bolt on the Death Shadow. That feels good. These are things that oh, I think about. Oh, I see what you're saying. Or you just fetch, deal yourself one damage, and then put it up to seven. There's a lot of interactions. Yeah. I'm thinking out loud. I see what you're saying. This is not part That's of the cool. episode. It That's cool. Is. Yeah, we'll fix it in post. Uh, <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> it's going to stay in. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. That's cool. Um, back to the deck. Camera. Yeah, sorry. I don't think it does enough. Do you think it does enough? I just think there, it does almost too much of random things. Yeah, it's got a bunch of good cards in there. Yeah, it's like value. Goyf and... is awesome. Click is awesome. Yeah. Is it enough to keep like... Well, okay, but hold on. Think about Jund. What is Jund really but a bunch of good stuff? Yeah, but it's like... It all works together a bit better. You think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like with this, Tarmogoyf is amazing no matter what. Because right. it's going to be decent no Stuff goes in graveyards. Yeah. For two, you get a big guy. I played it but, as a 4-5. A yeah. So. But it definitely gets an edge in Jund because you have Thoughtseize, Inquisition, things like that. Sure. Um, which just kind of boosts that value up a little more. Your turn one play yeah. in this deck is going to be either Birds or Noble Hierarch, which, as we mentioned, you should always bolt. Yeah, they die. They should die. They better. Um, or you just are going Unless you just don't have interaction, in which case maybe you should pick a different deck. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is awkward. A little yeah. bit. Um, but, like, I don't know. I just... It feels like there's just better decks out there. Yeah. Because I feel like it's just trying to get the best of both worlds, and exactly. neither one will work. It wins on board without any way of assuring that its board is going to be better than its opponents. Mm-hmm. And its on-board presence is, like, relying on Tarmogoyf to be good, which Goyf is always good. Yeah. But Goyf alone... That's the fatal push. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, that's true. I know that fatal push. Dang. A lot of this deck does the fatal push, unfortunately. Um. Yeah. I don't that's know. Fair. I'm not sold on it, guys. I'm not sold either. I. I just. I could see it winning a few games here and there, just because there yeah, are well, good absolutely. cards in it. But I don't think it's going to be. I think it can outvalue certain decks, but like. Sure. 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 But it's not like. Ugh. Yeah. It needs a thing. It's yeah. missing some spice. This is like a really good soup with no salt. It needs one more just bloop. There you go. What a good analogy. That's what I do, man. What I mean it for. is, actually. It's the entire reason you're here. I know. That's in my contract. <laughs> of which we totally still have. We do. Do we? Right? We never signed a contract. <laughs> <laughs> We literally were like, hey, no. do you want to do a podcast? Yeah, really? sure. All right, cool. Yeah, Let's there was it. no contract. It's a lie. Um, anywho. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sold on it. I'm not either. It's going to be cute. Yep. Just, anyway. Just cute. Um, yeah, so, guys, if you have any other decks that you think we will see with Bloodbraid or Jace, uh, let us know. Um, uh, speaking on the question of the week, there was one thing that came up uh, that Living End got a little better because of Bloodbraid. Oh, um, Cascade and Living End. I don't know that that's actually true, though, because... Because it casts it quick anyway. Well, yeah, but also, like, you you play your Blood Braid into your Living End, so your Blood Braid dies. It's just a way to cast Living End. Like, well, why not yeah, have the, the, three, the three drops that do that? I don't know. It just doesn't seem all that great. Um, I mean, anyway, you're right. It's not. Why not just file an outburst? It I mean, it's just one less. It's just one more, re- it's just one more draw to be able to yeah, play Living yeah. End, right? Yeah. Makes sense, I suppose. Um, all right, so question of the week, though, this past week. Uh, again, relating to the Jason Bloodbraid um, conundrum, which was, what do you think about the unbannings of both? Do you think both of them are fine, both not? Uh, one is good, one isn't, all that stuff. Um, a lot of people saying Jace should not have been banned, or unbanned, excuse me. Um, a couple people throwing in other options for unbannings, things okay. like Birthing Pod. No. Yeah, I don't think so. Um but uh, a lot of people fairly unanimously, unanimously were saying Jace should not have been unbanned. Bloodbraid, they seem to be somewhat okay with for the most part. That's so weird to me. That seems backwards to me also, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. I, I A couple of people were saying that they thought both were manageable, which I definitely agree with. Yes, both um, are manageable. 
Um, and so I, I mean, I think we're gonna be fine. I just, I don't know. I think the deck pool gets smaller for a little bit, and then yeah. it expands as we find more options to 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 beat these cards. Right. There are plenty to beat Jace. There are plenty to yes. beat Blood Raid. But just some decks won't be able to, and so those decks will take a hit. They'll take a back seat. Um, yep. Or they'll improve and get faster. I don't know. I'm with the camp that this is just a way for modern to improve. I don't. I, I think because again, there are so many answers to this, and it may take some adaptations of decks that we've already got. But we'll get there. I don't think that this is going to by any means take over modern. Um, I think we'll definitely see a condensing of the deck list, like you mentioned. Yeah. There's no doubt mm -hmm. about that. People are excited about this. So, mm -hmm. um, but it'll all level out. I mean, honestly, thinking about Collected Company for a second, it's a four drop. It's easier to cast than Blood Braid Elf. Right. Like, it's still in. All, granted, you're always going to hit something with Blood Braid, and you can just straight up whiff. Yeah, well, absolutely. But, I mean, you get to play two free things with Coco. Yeah. I don't know. We'll be fine, guys. It'll work out, I think. Kids are going to be all right. We're all all right. We're all all right. Damn it. Hello, Wisconsin. No idea what that is. That 70s show. Oh, yeah. The intro. Duh. Thank you, Wisconsin! Yeah. It's at the end there. Yeah. Good show. I haven't thought about that 70s show in years. Since the 70s. Um, so. I was thinking it. Uh, this question of the week this week is, what was the first set that you opened of we, Magic? We were just talking about our yeah. first sets. And... It seems super unrelated to our entire show. But yeah, we were talking about that before the show. So that's why we were asking. Um, moving to our final segment of Crack of Packs. Uh, we do have hard gold cards. Mine is Nezahal, the Primal Tide. My, mine's the big scary dinosaur. I forgot her name. <laughs> Gaunt, Gaunty? Gaunty. No, that's Lord of they, Luxury. Lord of Luxury. Oh, God. Uh, Galta. Galta? I think. Yeah, Is that Galta. It? I didn't get it. I didn't look yet. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. Well, well I got Tetsamok, the Primal nice. Death, which, I mean, <laughs> yeah. this pack is actually really good. So, okay. There's the Primal Death, which I think is obviously the pig. There's also a Dire Fleet Neckbreaker, which I'm not a huge fan of the Pirates deck, but it's actually really good. Right. Uh, Stormfleet Swashbuckler is just a really good two drop. It's not necessarily first pick. But then also got Luminous Bonds and Impale, um, which I imagine none of these cards will wheel, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, I guess I take Tetsamog, but I will say it's weird that he's black because the Dino hmm. deck is never black oh and so you have to play him in like a pirate shell or something like that which i mean yeah is but fine i but think like, if you're playing him that's okay yeah yeah like you so. yeah um so i got tialani's tialani summoner which is great yeah yeah um i don't know about limited i uh, might try yeah. it i don't know i might try it but i don't i don't think she'd be good in limited um because she's a one one yeah. Um, but I also got Charging Tuscadon, mm. which is sweet. Yeah, it's really good. There's your Blazing Hope, buddy. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I think it's so bad. It's pretty bad. There are times in Limited that it shows up and it's okay. Sure, but I don't think it's good. I also like Crashing Tide, honestly. Maybe first not, his, pick, though? not his first pick, but okay, Crashing, yeah, yeah. crashing Tide is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, as Flash, if you control the Merfolk, return target creature to its owner's hand and draw a card for three. Pretty good. I think it's sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not on something, but it's pretty good. Better if it was an instant. Um, so I think the pick for me is Charging Tuscadon, even though the summoner is dope. He is pretty sweet. She. Um, she. I know gender. Um, are you assuming her gender? No, I see. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I think she is sweet. I don't know about Unlimited either. I'm kind of, I would question that. <sighs> The flavor text on charging Tuscodon. Tuscodon. It doesn't hold grudges. It runs them down and impales them. <laughs> That's amazing. Awesome. Oh, I love that. Um, all right. All great? right. <clears throat> well, is there anything else you want to talk about before we head out? Um, let me think. No, I'm good. My um, birthday is coming up. If you guys want to send me free. Don't get him anything. Yeah, be like Will. Yeah, I ain't getting you crap. <laughs> I'm getting. All I'm saying is, I got you a Christmas present. Oh yeah, I never told you. It was t it was sold out. 
Really I could probably have gotten you a different one of the. <laughs> I was gonna get you a card with a tap symbol that said "I'd fat." Oh. <laughs> but the place that I wanted to get them from were sold out. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I could have. I really, honestly, could have found more. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. I didn't look. I got him so a good. box of Unstable for Christmas. Yeah. In which he got a foil mountain. But hey, you know, it's cool. Do you want a foil mountain, Kev? No. Good. No, I'm good. It's good. I hold grudges. No, I don't actually. I just think it's You want to run him down and impale him? <laughs> no, yeah. I should no, you're fine. still get you. Because that shirt is dope. <laughs> that shirt is pretty sweet. <laughs> It's All right. Funny. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of It Resolves. Make sure to like or comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you feel up to it. Again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, links are in the description for all of our social media stuff. And again, if you feel like donating, please don't feel pressured. That information is down in the description as well. Uh, but with that, we are going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. And this has been It Resolves. This has been It Resolves. This has been It Resolves.